think trying to research the Dolomites might be the hardest thing ever. Nothing is clear because I think the area is just so massive and there's so many beautiful places that it's hard to figure out where exactly to go. And that's why you're watching this video, even though I don't know where I'm going either. and I recently went on a winter trip to the Dolomites and I'm going to be sharing my experience, some recommendations, some places that you should visit when you plan your trip. Because when I was planning my trip, I did find it a little bit tricky to plan. Maybe partly that was because for me it was kind of a last minute trip, but also because I think the area is just so huge and there's so many options of places to visit and places to stay that it's kind of hard to plan out. So hopefully this helps you plan your trip. Side note, the other thing that kind of makes the Dolomites a little bit confusing is the fact that there's two names for everything. There's an Italian name and a German name for all the places. So that did also make things a little bit confusing when you're trying to research them. Fun fact about the Dolomites is they actually have three languages that they speak there and then a fourth if you include English because a lot of people have spoke English. There's Italian, German, and Latin. And Latin is like an ancient language that's just specific to the Dolomite region. It's not Latin, it's Latin. So first thing, where I stayed and how I got there. So I stayed in a town called Ortize. It's a really cute town. There's a lot of hotels. There's a lot of restaurants. I would recommend staying there. It was really nice. I went in the winter, so that was like a big ski town destination. How I got there was I drove from Milan. So that was about a four hour drive. There aren't any airports, I don't think, in the Dolomites. So you have to fly into a different city and then drive in. I feel like having a car is kind of the best option just because the drive through the Dolomites is so stunning. There are buses and trains to get there as well. I would recommend getting a car if you can. That leads me to the first place that you need to see and that is Seceta or Seceta. I've heard it pronounced both ways so someone in the comments please let me know how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. And that spot is actually accessible from the town of Ortizia where I stayed. So let's see how that went. So we made it to Cicada or Cicada, I'm not sure how to say it, but there's two gondolas. Right now we're on the first one. So again, this is no hiking. You take two gondolas to get to the top. You can hike if you want in the summer. I'm sure that's lovely, but not so much in the winter. So we made it to the top and this is the view. One thing that I will say, you can't hike very much in the winter up here. In the summer, you can get a lot closer to the mountain and you can hike up, but because there's a skiing in the winter, you're a little bit limited in where you can go. So I'm at probably the most famous chapel in the Dolomites, and this is something you can see very easily. The parking lot is a very short walk away from this location, and from here you can see the chapel with the mountains in the back. And if you have a drone, you could even drone and get some epic shots. And there's even tobogganing if you're looking for a winter activity that doesn't involve hiking. Okay, the next place that you have to visit not gonna lie, it was a fail for me. I actually didn't make it there. So please listen to these tips so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. And that place is the Three Peaks or Tre Cheme, and that is probably the most famous spot in the Dolomites. So in the spring and summer and fall, this is one of the main hiking spots where people go. During that time, there's a toll road to Refugio Aronso. You can park up there, there's a restaurant up there, and that's where you start your hikes. In the winter, that road is closed. Toll road is closed in the winter. I did not know this. Now we're on the road to Refugio Aronzo, and that's where the two most popular hikes are in Dolomites to the Three Peaks. The thing about the winter is the road is actually closed in the winter, so you can't drive up there to the town and to the cafe. So you have two ways to get there. You can either hike, which is about an hour and 45 minutes, or there are other means of transportation. There's ski do rentals and there's a ski do where a driver actually takes you up there. So you can use those tr transportations if you don't wanna hike. However, once you're up there, you can either choose to just stay at the cafe and take in the nice views or actually hike up to the peaks. But the views from the cafe are also really nice or at least what I've seen in photos because we kind of failed and we didn't make it there because we got here too late now the sun is setting.
Okay, that's it for my dual mic recommendations. If you guys have been there, comment below other places that people should visit. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.